Hello there. And welcome to our big fat gay video. <laughs> That's the only part of this we scripted, we promise. I'll introduce myself. Uh, I'm Emery. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, his. Um, I am based out of New Haven, Connecticut, as of now, originally from LA. I'm a cellist, singer, um, critic sometimes. I'll conduct if you let me, slash make me. No, you forgot, you forgot that you've been quarantine baking. I've been I'm quarantine Rory. baking a lot, it's true. <laughs> I'm Rory. Uh, my pronouns are they, them, and z them. I am a cellist, uh, thinker, shit poster, meme. Meme lord. Music meme expert? Music meme according, expert. According to Adam D. Odell? Rory and I originally like met online. We we, we like we were we've been in person together. We were at a we were at a at a music festival, but like most of uh, most of what I know of Rory is because they are the one of the admins of classical music shit posting. Classical music shit posting is what it says on the tin, basically. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've we've been around since early 2017 and we have a little over 10,000 members now. I have several really good friends who I met because of CMS, including including this dude, I suppose. That's me, that's me. I've found being queer, like a lot of my closest friendships have been online because the institutions that I've found myself within have not been populated by a lot of queer people. Would, would you be referring to the institution of classical music, perhaps? I mean, yes, that is a whole, but also I meant specifically the academic institutions that I've attended. And okay. I know that Yale is significantly more queer than Yale, my alma mater or my current Everything at Yale is kind of queer. It's true. Um, <laughs> there, are, there are so many of us. It's, it's a, a rare, it's a, a rare blessing, you know? What's the, what's the term? One in four, maybe more. One in three, maybe me. <laughs> Anyway, so we thought we would come to you and talk a little bit about sort of these online queer musician spaces that we've been a part of, just because, like, we're, I mean, I'm less active in them, but you're definitely active in them. Yeah, activity is a social construct. There are but... a lot of social, there are a lot of things during quarantine that I am now realizing are social constructs, like productivity and sleep. And practicing. Practicing, practicing especially. People in person at music festivals have known who I am because of these online groups. So it's sort of an interesting time to be an online queer musician. I mean, to the extent that all musicians are online now, but like sort of being someone who's, who's sort of seen that shift. Because I feel like right now, online queer spaces are sort of serving a double purpose that, a double purpose that is sort of like the best we can get right now, right? Like, like queer gatherings have been canceled this Pride Month. Uh, and music music gatherings have been canceled for who knows how long. Try I try not to think about it. Um, so now I feel like I feel like there are queer spaces that are not necessarily they're not becoming more, but they're definitely becoming more active. Yeah, I think I mean I think queer people have always been slightly more active online than our uh, non queer counterparts. Yeah, and I think that's that that that. That hasn't really changed in quarantine. Everyone's online a lot more because yeah, but... we're. What else are we gonna do? Exactly. But I think queer people, queer people need that community in a different way. And, and I mean, even in sort of the online musician spaces that aren't like like queer by by name, like classical music should posting is theoretically like not a queer musician place, but like, but like we're pretty loud. <laughs> like there's a lot of there's a lot of. Uh, classical music shit posting content that just sort of becomes queer. And I think that especially now, I mean, um, as universities close dorms and things like that, um, a lot of musicians found themselves sort of back in these these confining situations. Um, a lot of queer people find themselves at home with potentially unsupportive family members. I think that that sort of amplifies the importance all the more of these online queer musician spaces. It's interesting to think about this through the lens of what's been happening in the US with the protests and the police violence um, and sort of thinking in terms of like as a white person I have I all my life kind of have felt a physical disconnect from community and when I read the words of black and brown writers, 
especially queer writers, I, I, I sense that 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 disconnect manifests differently for them, that they, um, and and that they they really use physical community as a way to enhance their perception of their own physicality and queerness. And I think that's that's a thing that we're really missing out on right now. We've sort of been singing the praises of the online groups as sort of a place to convene during this. But I think that what it really shows us is that, you know, not only are there next steps to be taken, but there are next steps to be taken like now. Like like these like these five clear minutes these ago. what do you say? Like oh, five, five minutes, minutes ago. ago. <laughs> these online groups are doing great things and can also do more great things. And I think it's time to start sort of pushing them in that direction. Yeah, I think it's also important to note um, the composer Inti Figgis Vizueta made a post about this, about like the inherent whiteness, of the assumption that online spaces are the future of making music together, because they are not, they are not egalitarian in any way. There is an inherent hierarchy, and most people who are using these online spaces, like Facebook groups or Zoom meetings, are not thinking about that in any kind of way that would <laughs> that might change their behavior even just stripping it down so far as just access i mean in in that regard it's totally totally egalitarian this was a huge deal when when schools went online it's treated as a necessity by so many companies by so many institutions within capitalism by the institution of capitalism itself in a lot of ways but it is still a luxury it's kind of, it's kind of this double standard especially with poor people with homeless people that like we we expect them to have what we consider basic needs but then we we don't want them to have luxuries even when something like internet access could be classified as both queer online spaces are doing good and can do better is basically that's basically the moral of the story queer online musician spaces um that that seems awfully specific, but it's really not. I swear. Um, queer online it's, musicians. It's specific, but so is chamber quarantine. So we're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, anyway, I mean, there there's been a queer voice in music, but the the problem is like we haven't been allowed to claim it. If that makes sense. Like queer composers existed. I I, I showed one of my best friends Barbara Strozzi's Lagrime Mie because everyone loves that piece, and if you don't, you're wrong. I will not be taking questions at this time. Um, but Neither I mean, it's. I. It's written for soprano. It's a, you know, a panegyric to a woman named Lydia, um, like pretty clearly meant to be sung by, like, like if I had a playlist called Homoerotica 1659, that would be at the top. <laughs> you can tell I've considered doing that before. There's been a queer voice in classical music, but like queers haven't been able to claim it because like people didn't want to hear it as the queer voice or hear a queer voice in general. And like now I think that online queer musician spaces are a, are have been helping to, I'm not sure if fast track is the right word, but helping us on the right track to reclaiming those voices. Um, now it's time to, now it's time to like, now it's time to reclaim, now it's time to con to continue. Does that make, like? Now it's time to stop being racist. Yeah, that, 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 that's, the, that's the essence of it. Now it's time to stop being, now it's time to stop being racist about who we reclaim. Go join classical music show posting. Yes, um, answer the questions. If you don't answer the questions, you won't get in. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.